Ah. You know when you just have one of those really bad hair days and you just can't do anything with it? That, that's me today, basically. That's me today. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today, as you can see above in the title description, it is all about Zoe's new products. I'm going to be doing first impressions of all the new products, except for one because I didn't buy the entire range and, well, that's just my opinion. So, I will be showing you each product, I will link everything down in the description box and, yeah. Um, I do have to apologise, I do have the window open because it is very warm in the UK right now. Um, I don't know how long it's going to last, but I am sweltering. Like, I don't know if you can tell, I'm just sweating my makeup off and it's just <gasps> so hot in here. Um, so I, yeah, if you hear any noises, that'll be outside. Like that, for instance. <laughs> First up, we have the Zoella Leaf Fizz Fragrance Bath Fizzes. This packaging was like one of the most gorgeous packages I've seen, especially when I unboxed it. I was just so, so like surprised at how beautiful this actually is. Um, compared to her original range and her Tutti Frutti range, this packaging is very... It looks very classy, it's very um, sassy, no not sassy, it's not the word, sophisticated, there we go. It looks very sophisticated, very classy, and yeah, I just really like it, I, I think it's just really pretty. I love the shell pattern all over this, this is very Zoella. The original range is very peachy, you know, kind of like rosy, where this, this whole range is very like, like I don't know, it's very Zoella. It is, it's just very Zoella. Anyway, the smell of this. does definitely smell of macaroons, or macarons, however you say it. Um, I think there's kind of some like vanilla-y smell to it. It also, also, it almost smells kind of buttery, and there's definitely some kind of like, as she says, almonds in it, is that right? And this is how the whole range smells. I know Zoe says that she can't describe scents, but when she described this in her video of her products, I could actually, I had the idea of how it was gonna smell. And when it came and I, smelt it and the scent was just pretty much how I imagined I was just so pleased because I was kind of worried because I don't really like nuts or like almonds but the scent of this like I love the scent of almonds so the scent of this is just exactly how I imagined it to to smell. Zoe said that these blocks or these squares are a lot smaller so that is a plus because with the Tutti Frutti range I did find it quite not annoying well kind of annoying just because the blocks were like so thick and I didn't want to use that much in one go so I like how I can just put like break a bit off this and just plop it in my bath plop what kind of word is that? so that is leafers and it smells good enough to eat next up we have the sugar dip and oh my goodness everyone has been going on about this and they are absolutely loving this packaging personally I do as well let me just get my fingers into this I'm going to just take it off like that because that's a lot easier it comes like this I love the mint by the way I really do love the mint and the pink I, just, I, I don't know I just really like that so in this pyramid kind of popcorn shaped package you get this little pouch and as everyone has said on Instagram and including Zoe I think Zoe mentioned it I don't know it looks like a packet of sweets again good enough to literally eat I'm just gonna open this and see if it what well, like what it looks like kind of thing oh. <gasps> oh that wasn't a good idea some of the bits came flying out oh my gosh it's all down my leg oh my gosh I don't know how to describe this guys but it's not like so it's not like bath salts I wouldn't say it's like bath salts the texture of this is a lot a lot like sugar almost almost you'd think it was edible it doesn't it doesn't smell like this is a lot powdery whereas this is it's definitely as a guess 
salt, sugar, oh my gosh, yeah, sugared it. <laughs> um, so yeah, it literally, I can't, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but it literally looks like sugar. It looks like sugar, it looks like, I just want to like dip, like lick my finger and dip it in. But that's how, that's how good it looks. How do I say this? Oh my gosh, I've literally have no sentences anymore. That's how good it looks because it looks good enough to eat. There we go. We got there guys. And I wouldn't, I definitely probably wouldn't keep the salts in this bag because as you just saw, they just literally went everywhere. So I thought, why not put these salts in this packaging and then you can tape it down and your salts are all in there. Genius. And then you can get rid of this packaging because you probably won't need this one. Well, you, I won't be needing that after like what I just did to it. Plus you get a little free sticker if you do want to use the bag and reseal it. But I personally think I'm going to be using the box. And then it would just sit on my shelf until I want to have a bath. Okay, next thing, next thing. Next thing we have is the Life is Sweet coin purse. Let's call it a coin purse because that's what she's called the other ones. I absolutely fell in love with this. Now my best friend, she wasn't so keen on it because of the um, edges of this. However, I'm going to test it out and let her know whether these actually get damaged but it's very flat very compact and very useful for um, receipts for um, hair slides for, um, for mirrors you can put a mirror in there and just pop it in your bag um, I just think yeah you could ha literally have everything in there that makes your life sweet I think this is possibly one of my favorites alongside the um, blue collar one I'm just loving this as well the logo the Z logo absolutely friggin loving that and oh my gosh, I only just noticed my nail polish matches, you see that? Kind of like matches the purse. <laughs> that was not intentional, guys. That was, I only just, that's hilarious. Like, I can't believe how much that matches. Next we have this baby. Oh my goodness. This looks freaking amazing. This packaging is insane. This is probably my favourite thing out of everything, like package wise. One, it looks like a milk bottle. I am just loving the fact that she's changed the colours. So it's not it's not just the whole range is not just the you know the peachy gold shell design. It's blue and gold. Like come on. That is my dream. If I was gonna make packaging it would be very similar to this and this is why I love this so much because it's just so me as well as it's so Zoe. And this lid oh, is just too beautiful to even, I can't believe I'm just talking about a lid. Like it's too beautiful to even stare at. It's just, it's so pretty. I love it. I am going to smell this to see what this baby, I'm so excited. <laughs> I've smelled the other bits in the range, but I, you know, first impressions guys. This is what we do. can't wait. I can't wait to put this in my bath. It's a lot runnier than the shower gels and the bath soak. I guess why it's called bath milk. Is it called bath milk? Am I just being silly? Bath latte, milk, whatever. Yeah, bath and shower milk. I knew it was there. I knew it was there somewhere. This says indulge in this deliciously scented creamy bath and shower milk. Enriched with nourishing sweet almond cacao, cacao and honey. Honey, it's got honey in it will leave your skin feeling beautifully soft, silky and smelling totally irresistible. Your body will love you, love you a latte. Love it. The next three products are things I'm going to be testing out right now in front of you. So here goes. My camera just stopped at the right moment. Like I was about to show you the next item and it stopped as I caught it. Good on your camera. The next item is the double creme bath body body cream gosh I think it's a bath cream and it says sweetly nourishing macaroon scented body cream by Zoella loving this I love the underlining the swirly underlining I don't think that's on anything else I'm looking around no and then the big massive gold said okay gently massage into clean skin until fully absorbed for a soft fragrant finish that is what we are about to do guys I don't know whether my skin is really clean, but one thing that is so annoying about these things, you ever like went to squirt on yourselves and you then realise you've left the silver cap on 
Ugh, I've done it so many times, I'm just standing there like, it's not coming out! And then I'm like, oh, that's because I haven't took the foil off yet. Which, this is proving to be harder than I thought. Urgh, Houston, we have a problem. I think I might have to stop the video, just so I can open this. This is taking like three minutes already. Mom? Yeah? Is that you? Yeah. Come here a second. I can't get this off. Hmm? I can't get the foil off. Mm. You need to Poke stab it. it really. Hang on, hang on. You don't keep it on the bloopers either. <laughs> so I didn't manage to get all the foil off, it's like still stuck on there like freaking glue. So we're just gonna see if this actually comes out, it should do, it should be alright. I've already put a bit too much on. Comedies. Oh, it smells so nice and it feels so nice. This formula I think feels very similar to the Tutti Frutti range, the candy cream, but it doesn't have the popping candy in this. Popping candy? Bursting beads, that's the one I'm looking for. So as soon as you rub it in, it just cools you down and it's exactly what I wanted to replace the Tutti Frutti one, even though I kind of went out and bought loads to back up my Tutti Frutti range because I loved it so much. But I think this definitely replaces that it's beautiful. And the next item is this cute little guy or girl. Let's call it a girl because she's feminine and she's for women. But it's just so pretty. I love this. I really, really love this. This is completely, this just says Zoella all over it and it literally says Zoella all over it. Sweet Inspirations, this body fragrance is called, or body mist. Definitely love this packaging. As you can see, the pretty design on the back but it's not so shiny as that which i kind of like it's it's very not in your face whereas this is and you'll get to see this forever whereas you might not see that forever because you'll end up chucking it in the bin maybe <sighs> instant beautifulness this is sweeter i wouldn't say it's um on the heavy side but it's definitely like a, it's sweeter it's a lot sweeter than the rest of the range i would say i guess it's because it's a mist and a perfume guys this is so nice mm. last but not least yes we're coming to the end of this zoe first impressions video once again it feels quite sad because we don't know when the next range is coming out probably around christmas but it's just so nice to get things from people such as youtubers that have achieved a lot just gonna put that out there i am so excited to use this because this looks a lot better than the christmas one the body fondant oh my goodness again my nails match this box ah i love it i love how blue it is i'm really in a baby blue mood recently i always am this time of year i was looking at past like instagram pictures and i always manage to like paint my nails blue or wear blue i'm so intrigued to try this i really really am it's one of the things that stuck out to me because it looks very similar to the one she brought out at christmas which i'm gonna grab right now all that glimmers whereas this one is called just the body fondant shimmer balm and I have been using this not so regularly because I don't we don't know how much product is in the um, powder puff that's it we don't know how much products in there and I kind of don't want to you know use it and then have none left so that was my only you know kind of downside with that is I don't know how much products in there but the shimmer is gorgeous let's go ahead and open this if I can and this is this is mainly why I, this video is taken longer to come out because I wanted to wait for this and so you guys get can see what this is like and what I think of it. Oh my goodness. Once again, we don't know how much product's in here, but it looks yummy. So there's the puff, that's in, that's in the top, that was in the lid, so that was in the lid like this and then there's your balm basically. Oh my gosh! 
It even smells like the range. I didn't think this was going to smell like the range, but it does. Mm. It smells good enough to eat. Oh my gosh, this is super, super soft. I don't want to ruin it. This is so soft. I, don't, I wouldn't want to use this, but we're going to, guys. We're going to do it. <laughs> I'm so scared. Um, balm pad, the puff, the, the thing. I'm just going to use it like this, and we're just going to swirl it in. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let's just get right in there. I don't know how much to use, but we're going for it. I'm just taking up the top layer off. There we go, top layer off. It is on the applicator. And we're just gonna, I'm just gonna do it like here. Swirling it around. Oh, it even, it comes off so soft because the brush is so soft. The brush, the, the pad, the thing, I don't know what you wanna call it. I don't know if it was a good idea to put it over the top of the moisturiser just saying that, but it smells beautiful. It smells almost like sugary. It smells really nice. So I know who would absolutely love this because it doesn't come off all that glittery at all. Whereas the all that glimmers comes off really glittery, but it's not like thick glitter. This is kind of like just a glow, a real as Zoe pretty much describes it, it gives you that really healthy glow and you won't be able to see it on the camera at all but it's like a nice sheen, it makes your skin look really soft and healthy. Oh my gosh, the camera is not going to do that justice, like I'm not sure if you can, well you might be able to, but like this side is like, has like a nice healthy kind of sheen go to it, I don't know if you can see that and then that one that's got nothing on is just boring. But that comes off so nice. I think there's maybe a very, very, and I mean very slight tint to um, the balm when you put it on your arm. Only a very slight tint. But once it soaks in, it just looks healthy and, sh and just really... Oh, if you could see what I can see... It's just so healthy. This is just going to be my summer scent, guys. How, like, the Tutti Frutti range was the summer scent of 2015. And then this scent, this range, is just going to be the summer scent of my 2016. Love that. Freaking love it. It's beautiful. It is, honestly. My skin never looked healthier. Am I just saying that? No, I'm not just saying that. I mean it. I actually mean it. Love, 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 love. Love. Wow, it's done. It's over guys. We're at the end. I don't know how long this has taken. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and comment below. I love you guys. Thank you for all the support and I will see you again soon. Bye. Yeah, as soon as I found out what... Wait, look, can't get my words out. Okay. Hey guys, and today's video is an unboxing or a first impressions. It's not really an unboxing because I've already unboxed it. So, so, so hot. It's not working for me. It is just not working for me. What do we have next? I don't really um, Not a good idea. I really think I should put my hair back. Oh, loving it. I love the rose gold font, guys. I can go eat my dinner now. Yay!